Now for part D, what I've done is just illustrated the points in a scatter diagram, okay, a sketch of the scatter diagram. Now, if we looked at the line of best fit, which would be something like this, we already know that the correlation coefficient for this is R equals 0.914. Now this scatter diagram then represents the amount spent above £20. But if we look at the actual amount spent, then we would have to add 20 to each of these data values. And if we added 20 to all of them, what would happen is the points would go up by 20 units. So the graph would go up something like this. And notice that the points are not scattered that any further about the line. They just remain in the same relative position to the line. So what I'm trying to say then is that the product moment correlation coefficient will remain the same. And so I've put that down here, okay, that the product moment correlation coefficient then will be still 0.914 because adding 20 to each value does not alter the scattering about the line of best fit. Now in part E we're told that Jill went in on another day and the product moment correlation coefficient now was 0.178 and we've got to give a reason why these two values might be different. Well we have that if it was 0.914, it would seem to suggest that the longer a customer spent shopping, the more likely they were to spend more. Whereas 0.178 would seem to suggest that different amounts were spent by customers for the same time. Let me just illustrate what that might mean on a scatter diagram, for instance. Let's just rub this one out, okay? We'll go down here, just rub that out. If we had customers spending different amounts the same amount of time, then suppose we had a customer spending this amount over £20 for this amount of time here. Then another customer might spend this amount below £20. Take another time interval, say this time interval, a customer comes in, spends maybe that amount over £20, and another customer spends, say, that amount below £20. So continuing this idea on, we might have something like this. Okay, So you can see that our points are not really necessarily close to any particular straight line. So that would most probably or could be a reason for 0.178. Now in part F, all right, we'll just mark that in, part F, we're asked to, to say why we think the values might be so different. Well, what we could have is this answer here, that an, ex is an example would be that a customer might spend a short time buying an expensive item, or maybe they might spend a long time checking for bargains. They could be talking, they could be buying cheap items. And that could lead to different values here. And that now brings us to the end of this question.